Hey guys, um, as you can tell from my voice, I'm a bit sick, so I apologize. But this video is gonna take a really long time to make, so there will be lots of... This video will take a long time to come out, so I won't be sick for the whole video. Uh, but I'm making a video on how to make a hobby horse in English. So, um, there aren't that many hobby horse YouTubers out there that speak English, so... I'm going to make a tutorial on the way I make hobby horses. Maybe I don't make it the same way as everybody else, but here's a pretty simple way that I came up with on my own, kind of, by looking at other people's hobby horses. Um, so yeah, we're going to create a black warm blood type horse. So first you're going to choose your fabric of choice. I just chose this black felt. Um, and then you can draw on the shape of the hobby horse that you want. There's lots of like weird random lines on mine. <laughs> Because, sorry for the sniffing. But there's lots of weird random lines on mine from when I like accidentally drew the shape wrong, but I just know which one I'm supposed to follow. Now, if you're using a sewing machine to make the horse, which you don't have to, then you're gonna wanna remember to have some seam allowance. So just cut far away from the line, like a centimeter. And then if not, you can just cut straight on the line if you're sewing it by hand. You can do it either way for dark, fabrics. I'm using this fabric chalk because normal pen does not work on black fabric. You are going to want two of these shapes. Now, notice that I have a spot where the stick will go in, which is just a little flap like this, and I did not cut the ears out. Just leave it kind of bald looking. You're going to cut two of these out, and make sure that the fur is going in the right direction. So if you're having a furry fabric, which I don't, you're going to want to make sure you cut one out like this, and one out like this. Now, once you cut these out, you're going to want to make sure that both of them are the same shape. So you can trim along the edges to make sure that they're pretty much the same. As you can see on a completed hobby horse, there is this middle piece of fabric. So these are the two side pieces, here and here, and then you're going to cut a long strip down the middle. Um, just cut it extra, extra long, like maybe 50 inches long. And uh, if you cut it extra long, then it's better than cutting it extra short because you don't want to run out of fabric. Now let's say I wanted my hobby horse to be around like this thick. That would mean that I cut out that middle strip like as wide as I want my hobby horse to be. And remember that it will, the hobby horse will turn out wider than you cut that middle strip because of the stuffing. I just realized I did not put a mouth on the hobby horse. So, but it is not too late, we can still fix it. I will show you how. You can imagine where you would want the mouth to be. So, with the two pieces of fabric lined up, one second, let me make sure they're lined up. Now, I can just kind of cut the mouth in where I want it, which is probably around there. Okay, there we go, now he has a mouth. Ooh. Once you have these three pieces, you can begin to sew them together. So first I'm just going to sew this along the edges of this. So what you're gonna do next is you're going to pin this long fabric to the edges of this one. So in order to make a hobby horse, you might have wanted to practice sewing first because it can be pretty tricky. It's definitely not like the first thing you should be making. So when you're done sewing this line onto this, the first side of the face, it should look something like this. There will be this um, seam allowance here, and then on the other side, it looks like this. So this is the inside. Just going around the mouth, bending that long strip all around the body. And once you have this whole piece together, the one side of the face and the strip, then you get the other side of the face and you sew it along, you pin it along this strip just like the other one. So it should start kind of looking like a horse. <laughs> Once I sew it together, I'll show you what I mean. So 
once you've completed the horse um, and it's not stuffed and the sides are all sewn to the middle piece, once you fold it inside out, it should look like this. Right now my hand's inside of it. It'll look a okay shape once it's stuffed. <laughs> But yeah, let's go stuff him and then we can add on all the other parts. So this was actually my first time sewing on a sewing machine. This is what it came out like. This is what I call the base of the horse. Next, we're going to add ears and a mane. So that's gonna be really fun. Uh, and I left a big opening so I can continue to like adjust him and his stuffing. He didn't come out perfect. His mouth is kind of crooked. But um, as I keep practicing on my sewing machine, it'll get better. But yeah, he's not too bad. He might be for sale. I don't know, we'll see. For the next step, you're going to cut out four triangles that look like this. And that's how you're, we're going to make the ears. Here are two of my triangles. So what I'm gonna do is stack them on top of each other. And I'm going to sew along this side and this side. Leave this side open without sewing it. Once you're done sewing it together, you fold it inside out so that you don't see the edges and that it looks nice. And then, it's hard to do this with one hand. Okay. And then, when you fold the ear in half like this, it looks like a horse ear. Yeah, so then we're going to sew this on top of the horse's head. go. Now his ears are all sewn on. He has some stuffing all over him, but I can use a lint roller to get it off. And he is looking pretty good. So next up, we are going to do the mane. So now we're going to make the mane. And what we do is we have to get a string that is the length of the horse's neck up to their forelock. And we'll tie a little slip knot on the end of it. Now, next up, we're going to pick a notepad or a book that is the length of the mane that we want. And we're going to wrap our yarn around it many times. <laughs> You're gonna have to do this over and over again, so. So now you just cut it on one side, and those are your strands of hair. So what I do for this part is I grab the threads and I fold them in half and I try to loop them through the slip knot on the end because these will be the forelock hairs. Um, it's kind of tricky to see how I'm looping it around, but you can also just tie it in a knot in the middle as long as it's strong. I'm looping it through the other loop, if that makes sense. So when you're done with the forelock, it should look like this. And the rest of this string will do the same thing too. Along that string, I have tied all of these little strands to make the mane, and I have pinned it at the base onto the horse. So the next thing we'll do is sew it on to the middle of this, uh, like, ah, piece of fabric. <laughs> and I pinned on his eyes, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. Now the mane is all sewn on, just by the base of it and I'm going to attach the eyes. So to make these eyes, I just cut out some pieces of felt in the shape of eyes, and then I painted this pattern onto them with acrylic paint. Right now they're just pinned on, but I'll sew around them to attach them. So next up, I cut out his face marking that I want to have on him. You could do it however you want, and I'm going to pin it to where I want it. 
Now I have it all pinned on and I will just sew around the edges to attach it. So, with one haircut, um, a broken leg, and a couple months later, I have finished the horse. Well, I mean, I finished him a while ago, but it's taken me forever to edit this video. But here he is, he will be for sale. Um, he's actually going to be on sale as well, cheaper than my normal horses. So he will cost 100 and 120 with a bridle. So if you're interested, message me on Instagram. I'll make sure to post some pictures soon. He isn't attached to a stick yet, but I will attach him. You just do that with some glue. And yeah, to do nostrils, you do it the same way as the facial marking, by the way. I didn't add nostrils to him because he's black and it wouldn't really show. And yeah, comment down below if this video was helpful. I hope it was because it was such a pain to make. <laughs> it was a pain to make. Um, but I really, really, a lot of people were requesting it. So here he is. And uh, make sure to send me pictures of your hobby horses that you make. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to. I mean, the, the video was only super hard to make, but I'm just kidding. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. And yeah, comment down below future videos you would like to see. And send me pictures of your hobby horses you made using maybe my video. I hope it was helpful. And actually, my friend Katie will be making a how to make a bridal video. And I will leave a link to that in the description once she makes it.